cell phones. We all have one, five billion of us worldwide to be exact. But have you ever thought to clean it? It's not really on my priority list. Every now and then, my coworker uses her tongue to clean her phone. A cell phone is probably one of the few items you might never clean. But if you think about all the places it's been, where you've laid it, what it's come into contact with, you may not be so shocked to learn about all the creepy crawlers your cell phone is harboring. And because we have our cell phones with us every day, all the time, they're a prime breeding ground for bacteria. Not only because we keep them in warm places like our pocket, but we take them in places we probably shouldn't, making them dirtier than a toilet seat. It's been like a lot of places, like I drop it all the time and stuff. Probably everything and anything possible gets on my phone and inside the buttons. Just don't take your phone to the bathroom. But studies have shown that our cell phones are dirtier than the bottom of a shoe, even a toilet seat. So what better place to put that theory to the test than the biotechnology lab here at Harrisburg University. It is uh, hard to believe that you know how dirty your uh, surrounding can be. We had four people volunteer their phones for testing. The university's vice president for communications. I have no idea what, what, what we're going to find. We might actually find Jimmy Hoffa before this is all over. Two biotechnology students and my own. It will allow like fecal contamination, bacteria, yeast, and... <laughs> I'm getting nervous here. We took swabs of each phone, a toilet seat, and the bottom of my photographer's shoe. During this job, you, you, you don't know what you're going to find. Each sample was put in selective petri dishes that will determine what bacteria grows. General bacteria, yeast, strep, staph, even fecal contamination. The samples were put in an incubator, and two days later, the results. Whose is that? Uh, Tanya's. Good news is this that it doesn't have the strep. The bad news is it did have a number of forms of general bacteria and these are uh, E. coli. Yes, you heard right, E. coli, fecal contamination. <laughs> and I definitely wasn't alone here. Each cell phone tested came up dirty. Uh, we can see easily that there is an assortment of different bacteria growing on the plates. Some phones even had staph, which can cause anything from pimples and boils to life-threatening diseases like pneumonia and meningitis. For the cell phones, you know, you're ignorant. You never even want to think that, you know, it has so much of bacteria and all kinds of things growing on it. Mm -hmm. So unless you are in the habit of cleaning it, you know, then obviously it's going to be dirtier. And that's because we clean our toilets more than our phones. The results of this study proved just that. The phone showed more types of bacteria than the toilet seat. And if you're wondering about my photographer's shoe. This is your shoe and this is your toilet, uh, the toilet thing. So your shoe was dirtier than the toilet. <laughs> <laughs>